Hi Taurus, I'm Jessica. If you don't know, I'm the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary. Thank you so much for tuning in and hanging out with me today as I pulled cards for you for the month of April. Everyone is pulling the same card. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. I honestly feel like this is just energetically where we're at right now. Um, we're at this point in our life, I'm just diving right into your reading Taurus, but we're at this point in our lives where we're in this, this brink of just major transfor transformation and the word that just came through was malfunction. It's from things malfunctioning and things falling apart that things somehow fall together. It gives me almost Mercury retrograde vibes. Anyways, but back to you, my love. Basically, what you can expect from this reading this afternoon is, first of all, Seven of Pentacles and Two of Swords. We'll dive into that in a minute. But we're going to dive into messages that you need to hear on a personal level from your angels, from your guides, from your ancestors, from spirit, the divine, um, when it comes to your personal life. And then also I'm going to look into your love life. Because you guys have been asking me, Jess, can we dive into love relationships? And the answer is yes, absolutely. So let me go ahead and move this over. Normally I don't shuffle at night when I do my readings. But tonight I feel very called to, to shuffle in the moment now. So one of the first cards that was jumped out for you that I can just remember is the Two of Swords. And it's this position of being still, being emotionally still. Um, what just came through is being emotionally cooled. This reminds me, when I say that, it reminds me of a storm. A storm that come, that came, a storm that passes. And if there is hot, if it was hot before the storm, that's what actually caused the storm to come is all of this heat, all of this energy and the clashing of these energies merging together and erupting and then it rains and then it cools. I'm getting a sense for the, the month of April, Air, Taurus, um, you're in this space of emotional cooling, spiritual cooling. It's the calm after the storm. I don't know why that is the first thing to come through, but that is what is coming through emotionally. It's emotional cooling, intuitive cooling. Things have been very reactive. It's almost giving me fever vibes. You might have been waiting for something. You might have been emotional. You might have had emotional imbalances. One minute you're up, one minute you're down, one minute you're here, one minute you're there. And things have been very reactive, very almost like lightning. But this lightning feels like it, look, a second a second card this is the second one coming through this is very emotional very hormonal especially with the female card here it could be emotional women it could be you're feeling emotional um but now it feels like a cooling it's funny because i said hot it almost gives me like hot flash like a heat a hot flash some and then time time and direction so these are things that are coming through for you, Taurus, that's why I feel like you're just walking out of. Um, now let's go ahead and see what else was coming through. Um, I, I'm getting a sense that you need, it, you need to hear an apology or you need to give an apology. This brings me back to these women or a woman. Someone needs to apologize or you need to apologize or I don't know why that is coming. Well, Seven of Swords is here as well. Seven of Swords is the card of um, like cheating, lying, deceiving, being deceptive, being conniving. But more than anything, it's like your intention. It's the things that is that you refuse to do. You have another card jumped out. You have double laying, layering of cards. These are people, things that you thought that you could count on that were a, that you wanted to count on and you found in time that they're true colors. You found where they're going, they're, where they're headed, their intention. And that has helped you to gain a lot of clarity, but at the same time, you might have been hurt. You might have, might have been very emotional about it. Five of Swords is here. Ten of Cups reversed is here. Um, page of 
uh, swords is here. These are this is information. This is words that people use, and I'm getting a sense that those words have hurt. This is not for the month of April. It's possible that this energy could bleed into the month of April. I'm getting a sense that this is mostly what is what is what we're what you're walking out of, what you're leaving behind. That probably makes sense because if now that I think about it, the first thing that I said to you, Taurus, is this storm energy, heated exchanges, heated passion. And now things in the month of April, things cool. They're going to calm down. They're going to cool down. I'm getting a sense that it could be a really strong connection to the family. Things that have been going on in your family. Words that were said. Things that were exchanged. Um, also, the home card is here at the base of this reading. And this says home is where the heart is, but sometimes the heart is broken <laughs> there. So um, with the Ace of Swords, I'm really drawn to her face. It's almost like it's almost like a person who says something and they know fully well what they're saying. Their words come across harsh, very direct, very forward, very, has a lot of truth in them. But with that truth comes a lot of pain. Um, with that, you learned a lot. You learned a lot. Let's say this isn't in your family. This could be your work. Somewhere in your life is what it is that spirit is, you know, coming through with this. It, it's saying that there was some really harsh exchange of words or feelings or thoughts or things that you, how you perceive something, it made you feel like you were under attack. It made you feel like you were being, um... Like, why are, you, why are you watching me? Like, why are you coming at me in that way? You know my intention. You know who I am. You know what I'm about. Why are you questioning my character? So those are things that I'm seeing that you're letting, that you had to let go of, and it really made you emotional. But at the same time, it gave you a lot of clarity, and the word is purpose. It changed your purpose. It changed your motives. It changed how you move. Not in a way that says, okay, well, I'm going to... You backstab me, I backstab you. It's not in that way that's harsh. It's just a new beginning. You change how you move. You change how you help others. You change how you talk to this person. All of those things, all of, those, all of it is a culmination. All of those things change how you see yourself, how you see them, how you change your work, how you change your home environment. All of that was under a microscope for you. And April, Taurus, is about you gaining even deeper clarity and purpose and direction in every aspect of your life, how you take care of others, how you take care of yourself, your work, your relationships, your family, etc., etc. All of that is, it's like we took the garbage out. We took the garbage out. We've been through it. We've been there. We've done that. Now it calms down. Now it clears. Now I know who I am. Now I move with purpose. I move with direction. When I'm seeing the Seven of Swords coming through, I wouldn't be, I, I feel like you're owed an apology or you need to give someone an apology. But at the same time, it's, I don't want to say that you can necessarily expect it in the month of April. I feel like you kind of have to give grace, meaning that. It would be very, it would make sense for you to punish someone or punish something for what it has done or for how it hurt you or how it let you down or how it didn't work out. Um, but Spirit is saying that you're better than this. And I hate to be the person to say that sometimes because as a person who is always the better per not the better person, but I'm someone who normally is the bigger person and it can be so exhausting sometimes being the bigger person all the time. And so it's hard for me to say to you, but this is just me as a human being having an issue with it. <laughs> but this is not my message to you. This is Spirit's message to you. It's almost their spirit is saying to be the bigger person and to realize that, what it, well, I'm just going to say whatever that means to you, you have to be the bigger person in this situation. You have to be the bigger person in this circumstance. Um, yeah, and especially with moving forward. Um, spirit does not want to see you hung up. Spirit wants to see you successful. Spirit wants to see you, but again, eight of, eight of pentacles is here, six of wands. Both of these cards are reversed. 
And basically this says you're going to start this is only reaffirming to me what it is I just said and reassuring me as to what I said, which is that all of the storm, all of the mess, all of the madness, all of the chaos has served this greater purpose for you to say that I am going to move differently with a higher purpose for myself with more... Um, with knowing like this is who I am, this is what I want, this is what I'm doing, this is what I can do and I will not stay in that status quo because I see how you valued me. I see how you would have treated me because that's how you, given the opportunity, that's how you treated me. So Taurus, your energy for April is intuitively really connecting in with this deeper sense of self, deeper sense of purpose, and deeper sense of service. This is not you feeling obligated to do things anymore. This is you re-finding your voice again, like finding your voice again and moving from a space of, I could... I could cancel you out. Like this, you could be done. This could be done to me. This could be completely wiped out of my life. But I'm going to give you grace because intuitively I feel called to. But at the same time, I'm not going to be in a space where I'm making myself more vulnerable to you because I saw your character. After I saw your character, after I saw how you valued me or what you thought of me, um... I could easily say that I'm done with this, I'm letting it go, it is what it is, but I'm going to choose to have grace in this matter and I'm going to rise up and I'm going to take this as this only shows me more that I'm going to give my gifts in a different way, I'm going to serve in a different way, my purpose is going to change a little bit, meaning that I'm going to do it differently. This brought me all back to what it was I said in the very beginning that with the Eight of Cups showing up, it's like this malfunction. When we see, when we're seeing these things malfunction and kind of fall apart, it's it's almost like this karmic realignment of, okay, that didn't work out. So having seen that that doesn't work out, now this points me in my true north, my it connects me back to my direction. It's not a failure so much as as much as it is Listen, you live, you learn, you do differently. So that's what I'm seeing for you. And Taurus, I just feel like you can be very stubborn. Like you're known for your stubborn energy. But I just feel like, you know, that's why it's you're going to have you're going to end up being the bigger person. Like you might someone might really owe you an apology. You might owe someone an apology. It might be really hard for you to get that apology. That's what I'm saying. In the month of April, I don't I wouldn't expect an apology, although you probably deserve it. Or that you should be giving it to someone. It's hard for me to tell because this is a general reading. But all of that calms down, bringing me to this. The top of your reading is the Four of Swords, the Nine of Wands reversed, and also the Page of Pentacles reversed. To me, with the Page of Pentacles reversed, this is a person who says, listen, I have a lot to invest I have a lot of value, I have a lot to give, but I'm just going to hold on to it until you prove yourself, until I can give it to you in a way that I'm not feeling like I have to hold my guard up or that I have to be able to trust you first before I give into this, before I give more to this. So if I do, if I invest in this too much too soon or to someone who doesn't appreciate it, it will put me in a vulnerable space and it will put you in a vulnerable space. So I'm not going to do it. I'm going to give this grace period for now. The Four of Swords is here. And this is this inv invitation to rest, to recuperate, to take a break, to pause, to recenter. When you do that in the month of April, Taurus, again, your service, the way that you are of service to other people changes. The way that you support other people changes. You have greater clarity because of the malfunction, because of the storm, because of the fighting, because of the energy that you are walking out of. You, in time, have secured greater health, greater wealth, and greater wisdom. The month of April for you is about really, see, everyone's getting the same cards. It's, it's wild. 
three of three of pentacles and the wheel of fortune card this is moving into alignment perfect alignment things flowing together energy flowing together investments flowing together co commitments flowing together um people coming in and wanting to collaborate with you and let it be effortless the wheel of fortune says all of that that you just walked out of that storm energy the hormonal issues the the tumultuous energy the up the down the highs the lows the being pulled over here being pulled over there dealing with emotional women reacting women or whatever it is or people who were you know what i don't i don't know being very sensitive being very emotional doesn't necessarily have to be women it could be men it could be anyone all of that now you want to rest in the month of april taurus and pause and give grace to yourself and when you do that you are going to find your true north and basically what that means is that every step forward every collaboration that you decide to take on it adds to this it adds to your wealth it adds to your value and the way that you are of service to others is empowering it is giving it is serving it is significant not that it wasn't before but it has greater value to it it has greater meaning it's actually appreciated instead of it being feeling like a loss um one last thing that i want to say to you taurus is that the month of april is very about it's very restorative it's very about it's very much about cooling the heat um calming the storm the storm has passed and from that like i said i don't see you expecting a, getting an apology anytime soon i feel like you would be waiting for it for a minute but i feel like again it, it's helping you to see a different perspective a different way of how you are of service to others how you connect with others who you're connecting with how you connect with them and then it opens the door for a rare like better abundance like better better opportunities better circumstances that happen to flow your way this is because the three of pentacles is there and also the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune opens the door literally unexpected visitors do you see that I don't know if you can see that. This is the card, uh, Unexpected Visitors. I was just saying, it opens the door to fortune. It opens the door to abundance, blessings, but not everybody should have access to that. It's you to, who decides, listen, I wasn't expecting you. You can stay for five minutes or maybe you can stay on the porch, but it's up to you to decide. It's up to you to decide. Yes, my love. So I'm getting this sense of you really do want to take this time for April to kind of heal what has already happened, to heal what you have already experienced. This this healing shows me that there was a hurt. This goes right back to what was I was saying before, which is there's an emotional instability, emotional storm that happened. And this has only added on to your discernment as far as you just not making yourself available to everyone. This brings me right back to what I was saying, that how you support others and how you are of service to others is going to change. You're going to have to rely on yourself. You're going to have to um, be resilient. You're going to have to use discernment, again, about what it is that you allow in, what you do. You can't do everything. You've already learned that. That just bleeds you out. That dries you out. Um, the card Dry Desert if you, is about, this card is about moving through the desert, surviving in the desert, but in order to survive, you cannot do everything because you exert energy, you become dehydrated faster, it seems like there's nothing out there, but it, there is, there's a lot of life out there, you just have to know where to look for it, and Unexpected Visitor says that there is new opportunity coming through, it seems like there's, that you're in a dry desert, but right now, it's pretty much you just healing the ouch it's you healing what has already happened and then you will start to fly i'm just getting the sense that you this flying energy is about seeing things from a totally diff definitely a totally different perspective feeling differently feeling better feeling more vibrant feeling more alive but it's more emotional than anything because taurus you've kind of been needing it um now let's go ahead and talk about your love life if you don't mind, I think I explained in the very beginning of this reading 
that I was going to talk about personal and I was also going like the messages that you need to hear for the month of April but I was also going to give each one of the signs a love reading because you guys have been asking for it so what is in the cards for Taurus oh pardon me for the month of April oh here my loves first card is everyone's getting the same cards free yourself it's time to take back control of your life true love chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here and as I'm looking at this there's a storm so Taurus, what I'm feeling with this is it brings me back to the storm energy, um, which I talked about earlier in your reading, which is, you know, the storm brings, it's all of this heat, all of this passion, um, different, differing opinions, different perspectives, blah, blah, blah. And when the storm comes through, it is, it seems so crazy, it seems so loud, it seems so disruptive, and then it passes, and then the energy cools. This is what I'm seeing, is that the storm energy, one thing impacts all things. And with the storm, it helps you to free yourself from obligations so that you can make yourself more available to things that would cherish you, value you, and contribute to you, not just you contributing to them or you giving to them, or you feeling uncomfortable, or you feeling like you're settling, okay? So I'm getting the sense that all of what has happened has only opened the key to the door, again, this door energy for you, has only opened the key to the door to free yourself from situations that didn't actually serve a whole lot of purpose, that were only taking you away from trueness true love true connection and also chemistry sparkling chemistry so i i'm really getting the sense of you staying in the moment seven of wands you've been defensive seven of pentacles you've been waiting for a change looking for when is this going to work out when is this going to happen when is this going to occur are we ever going to get there is this ever going to you know, are you overly looking into the into the relationship? Are you overly looking into your relationship and picking apart them? Free yourself from that. Free your partner from that. Remember why you love them. Can rebuild that chemistry again. Rebuild that connection. Lower the guard down. Pour into it. That spark. That fire. Ace of Pentacles and Page of Pen. I'm sorry. Ace of Wands and Page of Pentacles wants to not only build the fire, spark the fire, but keep the fire going, if you know what I mean. So this is what I see for you, Taurus, is just really allowing yourself to indulge, embrace, surrender to chemistry, to passion, but it could only have happened, it, it can only happen if you allow yourself to happen, if you're not distracted by your work and all of your obligations, you have to make the time and the space for yourself. That's why I'm, I'm getting, I think I'm seeing the, the card free yourself here is because you really do have to kind of free yourself from the things that have been taking your time and your energy. See, retreat. Retreat. Emerging. See what I'm saying? I definitely see it's this door opening energy for you. Like this this wheel changes, this energy changes, this life changes. Now that I'm thinking, seeing, I'm seeing her belly here. And she almost, this is the ace of wands, but she almost looks pregnant. She almost looks like she's creating new life. And that's what I'm seeing for you, Taurus. I don't normally see this person as pregnant, but I see her as pregnant for you. Um, it just seems like there's this new emerging life that's going to happen. It's going to be a miracle. It's going to be um, a, a seed that was planted that emerges 
harmony. Two things have come together. Two things have worked to come together in order to create this new door that opens up. But right now, you, you're, you're invited to retreat. You're invited to relax. You're invited to let your hair down and, you know, calm things down a little bit, cool things down a little bit. Have patience. Have patience with yourself. Things are developing. Things are happening. Travel just came through. You might be go, um, taking a trip somewhere, but it could also be astral travel. It could be energetic or traveling with your heart, traveling with your chemistry, your connection. True, look, you got true love twice, you guys. True love tr twice and enjoyment. This is inviting you. You have true love and true love. This is inviting you to really enjoy it, to, to slow down, to retreat, to ground yourself, just to, to no, no picking apart things. Um, like, I, like I was saying, you, you're reading for April, like when I said you might, you might deserve, you, you could really des deserve an apology, but you might not be getting it. Maybe you don't need to get it. It would be nice to receive an apology, but if anything, it just kind of changes how you're doing how you're, how you're moving. You're moving with more purpose, with um, greater, with greater purpose, greater clarity. The cards that came, look, my love. Wow, wow. Release all anger. Did you see? Did you see that? Because I was literally saying, for um, forgiving. Like you might not get an apology, but still release it anyways. Time to decide. It's your time to decide that I'm going to enjoy my life, I'm going to enjoy this moment, and, but at the same time, I'm going to, look, balance relationships. At the same time, I've learned from this, and I'm just not going to give all of myself to this thing, because I know how to be of service now. Like, I know what to give to others. I know how much I need to give to myself. I am now moving with greater purpose. And then you also have past life healing, and you have new beginnings again. So Taurus, there's this new this new energy that's coming through. It's it's like new life. I'm getting like a miracle. Financial healing. Yes, it could absolutely absolutely be connected to finances, but more than that, I'm seeing tangible things that you can count on, things that you um, I don't know why, but the word is like you can relate to it. Like it, this is more relatable. This makes more sense to you versus what you were doing before, who you were doing with who, who you were doing it with and how you guys were doing it, if that makes any sense. Now, one last message from Spirit. Give yourself much more credit. I, I almost want to read the back of this. A stranger than strange, preponderance to ponder. Those in great relationships, whoa, now I know why this message just came through. Those in great relationships aren't always those who are good at relationships. And those in challenging relationships aren't always those who are bad at relationships. Oh, see, wow. Even though I used preponderance ineptly, this one is really good. Please ponder it. This goes to show, you guys, that you might really deserve an apology or you might have to give someone an apology. You might not get it. This is not a testament to to your value or to their value it's just circumstances like it's just sometimes people just don't they can't amount like not that they can't amount but they can't go the distance they can't travel the distance they can't go the way so we can't expect them to but we love them regardless we accept them regardless and maybe it's you that has to receive this message maybe you have are wanting need to give some apology but you just don't know how to say it you don't know how to fix it and but you have to hear that you are worth it because this is true love you are worthy flaws and all true love says that no matter who you are or what you are or what you've done for the most part i'm going to love you regardless but sometimes your steps change sometimes how you move change changes and the storm is this space for the month of April for you, Taurus. It's about kind of calming everything down and recentering yourself and finding peace again. And then you're going to reemerge. Brand new, 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 like I said, new service, higher purpose.
true love, and chemistry. All of those things are yours, okay? So I hope that this reading makes sense for you, Taurus. Um, I do want to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. I also go live every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where I talk about all of the transits, all the astrological transits, as far as what you can expect in that week. You can take notes. You can bond with the rest of the Bahati Vibe Tribe and the community and so on and so on. I, ho I hope that I'll be able to see you. I hope that you do subscribe, and I hope that this video has helped you. Until then, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!